Okay, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using a smart technology game. And I got a few things to talk about uh, in this demonstration right here. Now, um, guys all know we got a big contract. And um, now I have other people besides customers that are watching my product. Got a couple of very interesting offers um, through some, very, some, some emails here and there. And um, uh, one of the things I'm asked a lot by is the durability and the strength of these screens, the chemical itself. Uh, what can it withstand? Now, uh, we have, uh, we're going to talk about that too, but I want to talk about some other things too. There are several ways that you can use our screens. Now, over here, uh, for those of you who didn't see this video, <clears throat> sorry about that. This right here is my um, LED looking uh, projection screen, uh, five panel screen, which was made out of cardboard. Made out of um, shipping boxes that I got over at Home Depot. So here's the shipping boxes right over there. And basically very easy to put together. Actually, I just took two pieces of cardboard. I'll show you guys how to build it. I'll do a tutorial video on how to build a cardboard um, LED um, um, uh, panel looking projection screen very easy to do very cheap now with coated with our crystal wish technology screen paint it looks absolutely freaking amazing and the reason why i was able to pull off the uh, excuse me the um wide screen angle on it um this comes with the see that projector over there so there's a lens that's sitting in front of there and that lens allows the screen to do 239.1 but if you take the lens and you point it up slightly, it causes a bit of a U at the top of the screen, and that's perfect for curved screen. If it's curved screen, it's perfectly, or if you want to do the cardboard LED panel. Now, if you're curious what this screen looks like at the bottom of the comments section, check it out. I have a video link of me actually doing a cockpit uh, simulator on the screen. Also, we'll be doing a jet fighting simulator because someone was asking me about that. They want to see what that looks like on this screen. All right, and that screen does fold up. It does. All the creases in there, it all folds up and just stick it in the corner like I got the one over there that I did yesterday. All right, now, as for me, I'm almost breaking my neck in here. I trip in here from time to time, so it happens. Um, so this right here is the 239.1 screen. Also, two you can use with the lens. And this screen is around four feet high and around... 14 feet wide it's 100 inch 239.1 as you know for those of you if you're using 1610 or 169 on a screen uh, you'll see the, the the black bars but with the with the um with the um with the lens that you'll get free with your kit um, you won't see it at all it'll be just one big screen you won't see the little the bars at all and it allows you to be to do that ultra wide screen a lot of you guys want to do for movies now mind you if you're doing a 239.1 the screen memory is four feet high um, this is only designed for dedicated movies. If you use this for movies, it's for movies only. Because anything else is going to overlap the screen. Now, I just want to add also, too, is a surface that comes with the, uh, the, um, the new Pro 239.1 kit. Uh, it's around uh, four and a half feet high. Sorry about the focus there. Let me point it down here. It's about four and a, fa four and a half feet high and about 15 feet wide. So it's designed to give you plenty of playroom when you build your screen at, at four feet high. Now mine is, this is for a 100 inch uh, 239.1 screen and the screen is freaking huge. All right, now with the, like I said, this comes with the uh, new Pro Kit. Now the price for the new Pro Kit, we decided to add an adjustment to it. To make it a little bit more easier for our customers, um, the kit was original $638, and, um, and it's now $568, so there was an adjustment made there, just to make it a little bit more, sometimes we put adjustments in there, even on a new kit, to make it easier for our customers. Also, too, to add with that kit mine, you're going to get three quarts of paint, the Crystal Age Technology screen paint. You're going to get a surface that's going to be around four feet high, sorry, four and a half feet high, 15 feet wide. It's a huge freaking screen. You're going to get the lens. The lens comes for free with the kit. The lens will allow you to be to build all kinds of curved screens, uh, gaming simulators, because it allows it to do 235.1, but also to it magnifies the screen. It also stretches out the screen and it gives you the ability to even curve your screen if you want to. So there's multiple uses you can do use with that lens that comes free. You get two sets of uh, the neon lead lights, a frog tape, uh, drop cloth, paint rollers, everything you need to get the ball starting and you're good to go. All right, so this is for those of you who are deciding to use our regular kits. Uh, the regular kits are the one quart, two quarts, and one gallon kits. Uh, pretty much allow you to be able to paint anything you want. 
check this out now I did a video demonstration on this if you're curious what this looks like too I'll post the black screen and I'll post the silver screen at the bottom of the videos so you can check that out also and my screen's a little dusty I gotta clean my screen off but this right here is the ultra 4k black and what I did is I went over to Home Depot and I got some of that um, marble looking um, the marble looking kind of tile that they use for that tile but countertops that they use for kitchens and bathrooms and I made this elegant screen now mind you with your kit comes free frog tape and that will give you that laser cut uh, uh, edge that you need to get that elegant look and with the uh, with the border the border looks absolutely fantastic don't you think that would look fantastic if you have it in your um, kitchen some people have projection screen in the kitchen you'd be surprised they use the short throws or if you want to use this in your bar or man cave and you have the exact same uh, kind of um, um, surface you have on your bar or whatever you have in your man cave or in your sports bar. It'll look fantastic. It'll blend in just fantastic. Now, these screens right here are for the... Um, well, before I go down here, let me show you something really quick. Now, this is a screen that comes with your uh, comes with your, um, your, um, your, your kits when you do the uh, home cinema. Now, home cinema comes with a form of uh, eight-way stretchable blackout cloth which is fantastic comes with the one quart two quarts one gallon has a big 180 and it comes with the 239.1 pro kit now if you look at it you're going to think wow there's a lot of wrinkles in this this is not going to look good once I stretch it onto my frame this is an eight-way stretchable material completely weatherproof completely waterproof the whole nine yards you can take it outside use it outside for an outdoor projection screen the chemical is completely uh, weatherproof, fantastic to use. If you're going to, to in the summertime, or if you live in an area where the area is very warm, this is a fantastic screen to have. Also, too, because it's thin but very strong, you can put your speakers behind it. Sound will travel right through it, so it's acoustic, so fantastic. So once you get the material of the box, you're going to think it's kind of wrinkled. This is going to look bad on my screen. Nope, eight-way stretchable material. This is the same, 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 same fabric that you get. The same material right here and as you can see look at my screen it's perfectly flat once you stretch this out it stretches up very easy all the wrinkles and everything come out and then once you coat it with the chemical it looks like that perfectly flat now over here are the screens that come with our commercial kits now the commercial kits come from one gallon all the way up to five gallons let's walk over here there is the five gallon I use this from time to time this is a five gallon container that comes they come all the way up I think we have a 10 gallon kit yeah we do have a 10 gallon kit we have a 10 gallon kit so it's a one gallon kit all the way up to a 10 gallon kit and they come with a surface now this is fantastic for commercialized now just to let you know the company that we deal with that designs these screens for us these screens automatically come with the uh, the grommets already installed. So it's fantastic for using this for conventions, expos, or you're just going to use this for an outdoor a projection screen. Remind you must have a tension frame to use these screens right here, or d depending on how you want to hang it up. But this comes with the surface, and also too, if you have a customized surface that you want done, something interesting, we can have the screen fabricated for you. But just to let you know that. It takes up to three weeks to fabricate a screen. Just want to let you know that from the door. All right, if you have a certain size you want. And this is fantastic for those of you who want to take these screens to, uh, you got a convention booth or expo booth, then you would need a screen that you can roll up and put onto a uh, attention frame. This is fantastic for that. Also, too, like I said, I've got another demonstration I'm going to show you guys upstairs. So, like I said, check in the bottom of the comments section. I'll have the video for this screen right here. You get a chance to see how cool that is. And over here, I'll have the video for the huge wide screen right there and those marble screens which I designed over there. So, very easy. So, let me go upstairs real quick. So, uh, since we got the contract, uh, we've been having some interesting uh, emails and there are some people asking about the screen's ability to withstand a lot of elements. So, I did something, I usually do crazy demonstrations, you guys know that. I took a sample sheet, or actually a piece of the material we had downstairs, I painted it with the chemical and uh, soaked it in water last night and then stuck it in the freezer. There it is in the freezer. Right there. There's my screen. Look how stiff it is. Literally. Look how stiff the screen is. <laughs> so yeah, stuck it in the freezer overnight. Because if you have this screen outside and it's winter time and you know rain's gonna to get to it, sleet's gonna to get to it, all, all different forms of elements are gonna to get to it, the last thing you want is for your screen to crack on you. So you can see that's ice right there on the screen. And you bending the screen where the ice is at. And there you are. 
nothing doesn't crack or doesn't peel and we can stick this under the water there we go Put that in the freezer overnight to see you know the screen would crack or peel so like I said if you live in an area I live in an area where all different forms of weather so if I have this screen outside right now which I'm gonna have a screen on my deck um, we get cold, we get sleep, we get rain, we get heat, everything's going to hit this screen. It has to be able to withstand all of this. There's the screen right there. See? No cracks, no peels, no wrinkles, nothing. Well, you're going to have a few wrinkles in there, but no cracking or peeling the screen. Look how fantastic it looks. This is fantastic. Like I said, if you're using it for expos, and you're going to be rolling this screen up over and over and folding it over and over again and again. And you're going to have this outside in your patio. It's going to take an abuse. It's going to take a lot of abuse. So it has to be able to um, to withstand all that. All right. So we got our screen right here. I'm going to grab my piece of cardboard. Got it kind of dark in here, guys. My cardboard over here. I think I have to lay this flat on the floor. Yeah, I'm going to lay this flat on the floor. And I'm going to uh, tack it up on here. So I got it tacked up on here. I'm gonna tack it up. Figure where I get my tacks. My tacks should be around here somewhere. Oh, here they go. I found them over here. All right, and we'll tack it up real good so it stays up there. Give me another tack. All right, so we got it. Packed up there pretty good. All right, too bad. No cracks or peels in the screen. The screens can take some abuse. So, like I said, if you had this outside and it snows or sleets or rains or anything hits this screen, you know, any kind of elements, you don't have to worry about saying, hey, look, my screen's damaged, it cracked, it peeled. You guys see me pull this out of the freezer. Put this up here. I said, you know, I'm the only one that does crazy YouTube demonstrations like this. You guys know that. I do these weird, insane demonstrations. Uh, you know, nobody else is willing to test their product like that. All right, so let's move this away real quick. Okay. So let me see. Here we go. All right. This screen's still very wet. All right, there we go. Get some more. You know, much better. All right, let's start the demonstration. All right. See for yourself. Turn the lights on. Screen's got a smart technology. Game's going to kick in. Mind you, I pulled this screen out of the freezer, soaked it with water, hold on for a minute, I'm going to show you something, watch this, come back here, we'll pause it right there, come over here, grab the screen, and you've seen all the abuse I put this screen through, right? So I'm going to take it off here like so. Now, like I said, let me get this away because the projector is blinding the daylights out of me. And 3,000 lumens hit me square in the face. So you got the screen right here. So say you got to fold it up again and again and again and again and again and again. So you got to fold it up. And it's a nice little, nice little. Right, and you store that. I'm going to squeeze that real tight. There's still water coming out of that screen too. It's still soaking wet. There we go. I'm gonna unfold it. Show you how durable these screens are. Look at this. No cracking, no peeling anywhere in the screen. Watch this. Ball this up. Nice and tight. Mind, there's gonna be tons of wrinkles in this. 
Look, there's no cracking, no peeling. This is how amazing the screen paint is. You'd be surprised what this stuff can do. I mean, look, half of the demonstrations I do on my product, and you guys have no idea how insane this product is. You have no idea. This is the reason why we're getting these crazy contracts. This is why people are, are asking us, you know, I mean, to do business with them because our product is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. You saw it right there. You saw me take the screen out of the freezer. Right? Sit here and tack it right back up. After boiling it up, after taking it out of the freezer, after drowning it, right up here against the wall. Right here, if I get this to set right, there we go. Turn on my projector. Let me turn on, watch the movie. I actually did a demonstration right there. Now, you try this with a supernova. <laughs> you try this with one of them high tech screens. You ball that screen up, you bend it, you do anything with that screen, you see what happens to it. And you tell me we're on YouTube, have you seen anybody do a demonstration like this? Soak the screen down, stick it in the freezer, ball it up, fold it. The screen still looks fantastic, look at that. And I can do this with the lights on. And you see how much light I have in my environment, how bright this screen is? Look at the angle gain on the screen. Okay guys, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you enjoyed this video demonstration on our amazing Crystal Edge Technology Screen Paint. Thank you all for watching.